series is what so we have to find the sum of this series if uh, to find the sum of series first uh, important thing is if uh, trigonometric function is involved or uh, in any term of this series then always uh, try to find sum by expansion you can use other technique also but uh, in most probably cases expansion of trigonometric function give you the answer so in this uh, series the nth term is given by 10 inverse 2 upon n square so we have to write this 10 inverse so that we can easily separate terms by either positive sign or negative sign as you can write 2 upon n square first uh, we have to recall one identity very important Id identity 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y is equal to 10 inverse x minus y divided by 1 plus xy this identity will help you to find the sum of this given series so 2 upon n square can be written as n plus 1 minus n minus 1 divided by 1 plus n plus 1 into n minus 1 so you can take 10 inverse both side so 10 inverse this side also and using this identity i can write this is equal to 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse n minus 1 after taking summation in left hand side and in right hand side we have this 10 inverse 2 upon n square is equal to this one so i am writing neatly 2 upon n square summation of 10 inverse 2 upon n square can be written as summation running from 1 to infinity 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse n minus 1 so this is now our nth term you can say so expand try to expand this you can write this one equal to 10 inverse after putting value 1 10 inverse 2 minus 10 inverse 0 this is my first bracket obtained by putting value of n is equal to 1 plus 10 inverse 3 minus 10 inverse 1 so you can say that uh, these in numbers or arguments there is a difference of 2 similarly here so next term will be 10 inverse 4 minus 10 inverse 2 10 inverse 2 and in next bracket will be 10 inverse 5 minus 10 inverse 3 next bracket will be 10 inverse 6 minus 10 inverse 4 and uh, 10 inverse 7 minus 10 inverse 5 so proceeding this in this way what we have we will have last bracket will be 10 inverse n plus 1 minus 10 inverse difference of 2 means n minus 1 this is my last bracket and from this last bracket the previous bracket will be 10 inverse n minus 10 inverse n minus 2 so you can observe this pattern so first term first term of the first bracket is cancel out by after skipping one bracket skip this bracket as uh, i closed and uh, the second term of the next bracket 
similarly the first term of the next bracket is cancelled out by after skipping one bracket and the second term of the bracket so other term will cancel out so finally this term will cancel out after skipping this bracket and uh, means uh, it will cancel out by this this one so and uh, this term n minus 2 will cancel out by first term of this bracket so this is the way and remaining terms will cancel out by each other so you can consider this pattern the left uh, terms will be 10 inverse and this is negative 10 inverse 0 and 10 inverse 1 plus 10 inverse n so you can see here this is the left uh, term as uh, you are seeing with uh, green pen 10 inverse n and uh, 10 inverse n plus 1 so these terms is uh, left so as n tends to infinity as limit n tends to infinity summation running from 1 to n 10 inverse uh, 2 upon n square is equal to limit limit n tends to infinity minus of 10 inverse 0 minus of 10 inverse 1 plus 10 inverse n plus 10 inverse n plus 1 so after putting limit we have 0 minus this is 10 inverse 1 this is a 10 inverse infinity plus 10 inverse infinity so 0 minus pi by 2 because value of sorry this is pi by 4 this is pi by 4 because of value is 1 and this is pi by 2 plus pi by 2 pi by 2 so pi by 2 pi by 2 1 so means uh, pi minus pi by 4 this one equal to 3 pi by 4 so which one option is giving 3 pi by 4 